So here we go with containment. It's sort of a pain and you've got to choose where you want your battles. I want my battle in the middle and then at this corner here. So like I usually do, I'll build a gun first, let the guys start coming in, then right smack in the middle, I'll build a meteor tower as soon as they get close. There we go. Build a gun tower. I will be upgrading the first gun tower as soon as I have resources, all the way to red. All right. There we go. Next, I'm going to be upgrading the second gun tower all the way to red as soon as I get resources to do it. There we go. All right. Next, I'm going to be building a cannon tower here. Upgrading it, then building a command tower as soon as I get resources. There we go. Upgrading that once. Upgrading it one more time, twice. Alright, that's maxed out now. I'm going to be building an inferno tower next to my guns. And as soon as I get resources, I will be upgrading this cannon tower to red. There we go. And then building a second cannon tower. All right. Next, I will be building a missile tower down here and then building a command tower here and upgrading it once, upgrading my cannon tower once. Then as soon as I get the resources, I will be upgrading that cannon tower again. There we go. Next, I will be building a temporal tower here. And upgrading it. And upgrading it again. And then upgrading my Inferno Tower once. Twice. Alright, next I will be building another Cannon Tower here. Once the, the new turtle comes by, those are the ones that die and then they respawn something new. In this case, it'll be just little guys. Sometimes it can spawn boss mobs too. There we go. I'll be upgrading my cannon tower once. Cannon tower. Twice. And I'm going to upgrade that missile tower now. The three cannon towers plus these guys here will take care of the flying things. So now I'm going to upgrade my meteor tower once. I'm going to upgrade my command tower over here. And then I'm going to put a gun tower in once, twice. Three. Now it's a waiting game for a little while. All right, next I'm going to be putting in two more cannon towers on either side of the meteor tower. And after these guys go by, I will be upgrading my cannon towers. There we go. Once wave 18 goes by, I'm going to be, well, 
this part of wave 18. I'm going to be upgrading my meteor tower. There we go. Next, I'm going to be upgrading, putting in a temporal tower here and here, and then upgrading them to the max. Okay, now I'm going to be upgrading both of the cannon towers. And this is basically it. I might, at the end of 24, before 25, I might upgrade my missile tower. But this is where it is. So I basically have these five cannon towers the meteor tower, the command tower, so that I can see all the invisible guys. Otherwise, they all end up on the bottom, uh, the bottom level, and they can only be seen at certain times, so you won't end up killing them that quickly, and one or two can go by. Also, it gives you more money. There you go. Next, you ideally want all your cores back before 25 starts, so... Otherwise, you'll start flipping them off at the very beginning, and that can just be bad. Now I'm going to upgrade my missile tower right before those flying things come in. If you look, it'll just own the flying stuff. And that way your guns can be worrying about all of this instead. Otherwise, all of those end up on the bottom level, because your guns will take care of the flying things instead. In this case, maybe a third of them come by. It's not too bad. Yes, it is getting a little low. All right, next you have the turtles. Ideally, most of your core should be back before the second turtle hits, but... And there you go. That is the end of containment and a pretty easy gold medal. So 85, 456, you needed 665 or 695, easy gold medal.